to four. This is again one of the one of the most important parts. This this is the setting of your goal, creating your plan. All right. You have to set a goal. You have to create a plan. You can't just all willy nilly go off half cocked after something. It's not going to work. Very okay. Correction. Very rarely will it work. Okay. I'm not saying that it won't work. I'm not saying that it can't work. What I'm saying is if you go off half cock without a plan, guess what's going to happen? You're going to run into a ditch. Okay. You're going to run into a ditch and you're going to stay in that ditch until you figure out how, Hey, I'm in a ditch that this is not, not an effective way of getting something done. It's just not all right. Hey Dolo, how's it going? Hey Jimmy, appreciate the follow guys. Welcome, welcome. Um, but yeah, no, we you have to be able to continue and and move forward. So you got to set a goal, you got to create a plan. Okay, I'm gonna give you all something, and this is some homework. All right, there are a couple of guys, uh, and this is in business management. All right, in business management, there's a couple of guys called uh, by the name of George Doran. Arthur Miller and James Cunningham. They came up back in uh, 81, 1981, November. They came up and they wrote, uh, well, I'll just give you the article. The article is called, there is a smart way to write management's goals and objectives. That's the name of the article that they published. It's in uh, management review volume 70 issue 11 back in November, 90, uh, 1981. Okay. That's when smart goals, which I'm about to give you what they are, first appeared. All right. They're called smart S M A R T with dots in between each one. All right. So this is it smart. I'm going to break these down. I'll put these in here and I want you all to take notes on this because this is how you get something accomplished. This is something that even in major corporations, they follow this, uh, next to this, it's like lean Sigma Sigma six, which is another thing about, uh, working, one smarter, not harder, but a very streamlined approach to, uh, to management and to backend inventory, things of that nature that may sound far fetched. It may sound like something you would never need to hear, but I want you to actually listen to this because if you, if you take every goal, every dream, every, anything you want to accomplish and put them to this, I promise me you cannot fail. You cannot fail. Okay. So smart. The first letter in smart is S It's for specific. Okay. It's for specific. So what you want to do is create a target. You got to have a target area, a specific area in order to do that. In order to do that, you have to answer the primary questions, the who, what, where, when, which, and why. Okay. Uh, who's involved? What'd you do to accomplish it? Uh, where, where is it? You got to identify that location. When you got to get a time frame, a specific time frame. something we'll get into later, uh, which you got to, what's the requirements, what are the requirements of it? And what are the restraints restraints? What's going to keep you together as you put this down, as you do this, as you go through this, what things you're going to need, what are things you're not going to need? What do you need to make sure that you cut out? What's the cut the fat? As they say, what do you need to, what do you need to remove from your area? It could be, yo, I want to lose weight. So I have to remove alcohol from my life. That's a possibility, right? Or I got to remove junk food from my life, or I got to remove these negative people from my life. So I have more time to do this positive thing over here, right? You have to be specific, intentional and specific. Got it. All right. Number two and smart as M it's measurable. You have to be able to quantify, as I said earlier, that's why I had you make those lists earlier and, and, and score yourself and where you were with your values and things like that. You have to be measurable. It has to be measurable. You have to quantify or at least suggest some type of an indicator. So that way, you know, where your progress is going, you know, okay, I was at a four. Now I'm at a five. Now I'm at a seven. Hey, this is moving faster. Um, if you're writing a book, I have one page down. I have 10 pages down. I have 20 pages down. It's an indicator that you're moving farther along. Okay. So you want to keep that. You have to have measurable, um, measurable quantify a way to quantify, forgive me, a way to quantify and measure as you're going measurable statistics or, um, 
specifications. All right. How much of it? There's things like that. So the next one is A, which is attainable. Again, it's a very specific thing. Who is going to do it? Who is going to, what is it going to be? What is that goal? How effective is it? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean it's going to be easy, but it does mean that it has, that you have the ability to do it. Is it even attainable? If you want to, let's say, and again, I, I did not come up with this. As you can see, animes, I'm not being supported by them. They're great though. That's why I got my little face thingy. But if I wanted to make this thing myself, Currently, is it attainable for me? No, heck no. Why is that? Because I don't have the coding know-how to do something like that. So in order for it to be attainable, I then have to go back and make sure that I learn the skills that are needed, right? In order for that to become attainable, that means that's a specific thing I need to find and learn how to do. So as you can see, every one of these builds upon the next one. All right, so we got S M A specific, measurable, attainable. The next in smart is your R. It has to be realistic. Okay. It's got to be realistic, you guys. Got to be. If it's not, what are we doing? Oh, I want to make a million dollars tomorrow. Great. That's a specific goal. It's measurable. Is it attainable in your current state? Which basically means, do you have things already in the works that'll give you a million dollars tomorrow? If so, then that would make that realistic for you. If it's not currently attainable, then guess what? It's not realistic. Okay. Think about it. Be, be intelligent. Nobody that's listening to this is stupid in any capacity. Don't ever let anybody say you are. Now I may joke sometimes and say I'm dumb I'm not stupid. There's a difference though. I'm not stupid and neither are you. You know what's attainable. You know what's realistic. You know when you need to put stuff to the side and you know when you need to keep pushing forward. You also know when you want to give up and you shouldn't. But we're not going to get into that, are we? Okay. Realistic, like I said, and the very last one is timely. Okay. It's got to be within an anchored time frame. I want to achieve this in X amount of months. Well, first off, is your time frame realistic? Like we were talking about earlier, uh, I want to make a million dollars tomorrow. Okay. Is it specific? Yes. Measurable? Yes. Attainable? Maybe. Do you have stocks and things set up? Do you have a business merger that's coming up? Do you have a, a program that you're going to push that's going to get you a million dollars tomorrow? Well, at that point in time, then it's not attainable if you don't have any of that, which makes it not realistic, which means your time frame may need to be changed. Because guess what? You can change that time frame and now give yourself a year to make a million dollars. Is it attainable? Possibly. Depends on your current capital. Depends on your current plans. That makes it a little more realistic. Well, let's say you want to make a million in 10 years. Well, now that makes it even more realistic and more attainable. Okay. So smart, set your goals, create your plan, get a move on. All right. Follow those things. You cannot go wrong. 